previously on Queen Reagan. Reagan, we do not have time. Marathon. Nope, I'm good. Okay. So we just finished some intervals. They kicked both of our butts. I can't breathe. He can't breathe. We're probably gonna die. Um, but anyway, I wanted to ask you, what was your motivation on running a marathon? Why did you want to start running a marathon? You know, at first, I had no motivation and no desire to, but I was like, oh, this would be a cool thing to do once in my life and then never again. Yeah. And so then I knew you were doing it and I was like, I'll ask if I can join you. And then I don't know why I've been so motivated. I don't, or, I don't know why I've been doing it, but I've been keeping it up. So. He's killing it. I've, I've never seen such dedication. I've bullied him. I've abused him. I've made him cry, but. Made me puke in your front driveway. Good job, Manny. I'm proud of you. You're back and I'm so happy that you are because we have such a fun week planned. Um, just a little update on the fundraising. It's still in the air. You're going to hear about it next week. Um, wheels are in motion, just trying to finalize some stuff. Secondly, I've got some fun stuff planned, not just for this week, but for the continuous weeks after that. We have so many fun things planned. Thank you for coming back for another week. I'm so happy you're here. You're invited. We'll get through this together. Bring your friends. It'll be so fun. Good morning, beautiful. So today is a rest day that's important to have for your recovery. I want to focus very much today on actually like recovering because I in the past have not like prioritized that very much. I think I just kind of just like sit around or do whatever, or eat whatever, doing things that are like actually going to help me recover and try and be intentional about doing that um, and I'll kind of take you along with me. Today I'm going to be making a banana smoothie. Um, I was going to make some oats. Um, <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> pot stop sitting there like that. You know, you're not allowed on the counter But I'm gonna make a smoothie instead something I want to try and implement is try to focus more on the protein that I'm getting on the days that I'm Not running and more on the carbs on the days that I am running because in the past I just did protein only and Then I was hungry all the time or I just felt gross and my digestion was all messed up. So bunch of potatoes in the oven so that I have them ready for the rest of the week. I have been obsessed with potatoes lately. Like I never eat potatoes. I've always been like avoided them with the starch and everything. But they're so satiating. Oh look at those beautiful potatoes. Oh my goodness. Look at those potatoes. The verdict is in. Okay now on to the most interesting part of my day. My accounting homework. <laughs> my spots are done. My spots are done. My spots are done. Just kidding. The timer's going off, but I don't know if I can trust it because the last time I got way too excited. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. I wonder why I always feel under recovered and it just occurred to me, I just choked down an entire Mexican salad without a drop of water to show for it. Everybody. I'm on a walk right now with my dog. This is called Walking with Regs. Um, I will pay somebody a thousand dollars if you can come up with a jingle. I don't have a thousand dollars. Let me just be clear. But so here's what I'm thinking. If you know a person named Bill and you're capable of walking still and you know out of chickens come eggs, then you're qualified to walk with Regs. I'm having some of the deepest thoughts of my life out here right now, and I'm not even in the shower. At night, the sky is clear, and you can hear yourself breathe, and it's really quiet, except for when a loud truck drives past you and tries to kill you. I'm walking for recovery, because that's good, or <laughs> so I've been told. So, just a little update on the recovery and what's going on right now. So, I haven't been filming every single food item that I've eaten a day, 
for some reason that just feels like a little bit obsessive um i cannot see an inch in, in front of me right now um so if i just fall <laughs> That'd be really funny. But I'll just go ahead and tell you the rest of what I ate today. I had a big yogurt parfait. It was really good. It had blueberries and some nuts in it. And after that, I had edamame and a banana, some leftover chicken and red lentils and pineapple. And then the last thing I ate was a big extra baked potato. It had the rest of the Greek yogurt that I didn't use for my Mexican lunch this morning. And I just want to address this. This is the whole purpose of this segment right now. Here's the thing, when you're training a lot, your hunger, your appetite through the roof. And so I don't feel like I ate too much. I feel satiated. I'm keeping a running total kind of, of like the estimate of calories. I know it's like a lot and that can make you feel kind of guilty, um, especially if you're a perfectionist. Anyway, I just, uh, I just am walking because I feel like that can maybe help ease my mind. I'm not trying to undo anything, but you need the energy. You just do. Like yesterday, I was really proud of the physical results that come from training. And I'm not saying you shouldn't be. Like, you should be proud. Putting in the effort enough to the point that you kind of see the results. You should be, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Here, I love something. Even if it's something that I put in work, I start to just want to maintain that level of perfection. Um, even if it's unrealistic or unattainable, I have to be that now. That, that's my new me. I can't fall from that standard. Um, and the problem with that, um, there's a couple problems with that. The first is that you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. But um, the second problem with that is that at the end of the day, I am not really in control. I could have woken up this morning and not been able to walk. I could have gotten hit by a car. The Domino's guy could have killed me. Everybody has their different beliefs. My belief is that it's really just God's grace that I have this opportunity to do this kind of stuff. You know, I'm grateful some of these superficial things. Yeah, maybe it's something that I wanted to have for a while. It doesn't have any merit in real life, the purpose of life. All it does is gives me a reason um, to brag. That's just, those are my two cents. Anyway, that concludes walking with Reagan. Thank you. Love you. I'm going to use this industrial sized <laughs> massage gun on my foot. It's like a ray gun. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the bath. <laughs> that was a shower. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. I'm going to turn the water up to hot and then I'm going to put in some gasoline and light a fire and burn myself alive because if my skin doesn't feel like it's burning off then I don't even think it's worth it. Manny goes, I, my phone starts ringing at 8.50. My alarm is set for 9. And he goes, hey, he goes, are you still asleep? <laughs> I said, not anymore. And then he goes, hey, can we run earlier? And then he goes, wait, never mind. <laughs> I go, what? And he says, he says, I, I didn't think this through. <laughs> I said, that's what you called to tell me? And he goes, yeah, I'm sorry. And then he hangs up. Just finished running intervals. I'm going to be making a protein shake. They were, oh my gosh, they were difficult. But they were like, they felt good, you know? Like, I, I know that they were... A good training session. I'm looking for the cinnamon. Do we have any in here? I'm gonna make a delicious protein shake and then I am going to do some homework. So that'll be fun. So let me tell you guys a story. This one is probably really embarrassing, but I gotta stay transparent. And so last night, you know, sleep is really important for recovery. So I try to prioritize it, which is funny because I have insomnia and have ever since I was really little. But a little backstory, ever since I was seven, I've been taking melatonin. Well, I'm basically, I'm hooked on melatonin. My body, like, is reliant on that. Like, it doesn't make it by itself because I've been taking it for so long. Well, 
last time I went to the store, I bought two bottles of it. And I put one of those bottles under my sink. Just like the three milligram, like, cheap melatonin. One of those bottles. And last night I ran out and I was like, oh, no worry. I'm just gonna look under my sink and grab this extra bottle I have. I turn it around, it's magnesium. And I'm like, I'm not gonna sleep. Like, if I don't have it, like, it, I sound like a drug addict. So I'm basically like, well, I'm screwed. I'm frantically running down the stairs. I'm like, mom, dad, do you have an extra bottle? Like, I'm not gonna sleep, it's 11.20, everything's closed. I'm like, maybe, maybe if I get in my car now, I can make like the 24 hour Walgreens, maybe they close at 12. I'm like completely having a breakdown. And then I'm like, I almost start crying. I'm like, I'm not gonna sleep, I'm not gonna sleep. My dad's like, you're acting like a drug addict. Like, <laughs> like thinking of neighbors and thinking of friends. I'm like, who do I know who has melatonin that maybe I could like borrow some? And <laughs> the only person I was thinking of was like the guy that I used to talk to because he was also hooked on melatonin. Can you imagine if you used to date somebody and then you haven't talked to them in months and then out of the blue, they just text you <laughs> something so something so absurd like that you'd be you'd be like well dodged a bullet hey i haven't talked to you in six months here's a plan can you put some melatonin in the bag and leave it at the front of your neighborhood i'll drive past i'll grab it we don't have to interact at all you'd have to join one of those like aa groups for like melatonin something of a movie like i'm just like i start panicking i'm like I'm not gonna sleep. I'm like, well, this sucks. I have a run tomorrow. I'm not gonna get any sleep. And then I'm like on the verge of tears. And my dad's like, are you gonna, you're being really dramatic right now. And I'm like, I appreciate I know you're trying to be helpful, but it's just making me very angry right now. And then I stomped upstairs and then I had a brilliant idea. My old like empty bottle, I just filled with water and drank it. Cause I'm like, maybe there's like some of the powder in there and then my mom prayed and honestly it was a miracle i slept i've never that has never in my entire life i've never slept if i run out of it story has two morals the first is that um don't underestimate the prayers of your mama um the second moral is that um i'm a chronic overreactor <laughs> good morning I got this pink hat like four years ago and I have never once worn it anywhere. For some reason I was like, I'm gonna look cool in a hat. And then I got one and I think my head is too big for it. It's taken like four and a half years to get ready, but this is the, this is the gym fit. To put myself up on the way here, I was listening to Throwback Hour on Diplo's Revolution. And now I'm from Diamanda. Hi, I'm back. Um, I just finished my workout at Planet Fitness and i a couple things i started off just doing some core um and then i after the core i did a little bit of like glute activation because that's important for running um i don't want to rely on my hamstrings too much because i've been having hamstring pain or not hamstring pain but hip flexor um and then i i used the smith machine for the first time ever by myself so i don't know it's kind of a milestone for me um, so, whoop, whoop. and I'm gonna be bruised because I did hip thrust on that. So, normally I just do them unassisted. And then, last thing I did was I hopped on the Stairmaster for just 20 minutes and I just tried very hard to keep my heart rate under 150. Um, which is pretty high. I'm still recovering. Yesterday's intervals were insane. Like, my heart rate surged up to like 190 at one point yesterday. Um, just because I was trying to run at like a five minute pace <laughs> and that's not good for recovery according to Google. So today I just tried to keep it super low and I can even tell like I just don't feel like cardio wise. I feel like I've been through some stuff. Anyway, I just I want to pop in and say that this is probably the last you're going to see of me for the next couple of days because tomorrow I have a big long work shift and then I'm going to take a full rest day on uh, Sunday. So... Um, and I just don't think constant filming is good for my mental health. So I'm going to take a little break. Um, the next hard workout you'll see is going to be Sunday or Monday. Lord willing. Love you. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> 
This is what my hair looks like today. <laughs> I just laid in bed for like 40 minutes because I was like trying to fall back asleep and I couldn't. Here's the plan. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make... Oh wait, never mind. I need to go on first. <clears throat> I'm going to make um my typical drink thing and then I might make some breakfast and then I have like a like a sort of a long run but not like a crazy long run you know like it's supposed to be a lighter week so I can adapt to what's going on I'm not running it with Manny he's had a, he had a trip so it's just gonna be you and me I've got some apples boiling in some cinnamon lemon water and then I am toasting some pecans in the air fryer Cereal is delicious, but when it's when it's heated up, it smells a little like drywall. <laughs> Every marble I've ever had, I just lost. They're all over the floor. I can't find them. Here's what happened. I was I was looking for my favorite sports bra. I checked my laundry and, and I checked the drawers. I checked everywhere that it might be and I could not find it. It ended up being in the laundry machine. And I didn't think to look there because I fully did not remember doing my own laundry. And it just, like, I just did it. Like, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> this is not a good thing. <laughs> That's not something <laughs> you should forget. And I was looking in the laundry fully believing, like, I did not do this. Mm. I did not do my own laundry. Who else would have done it? Who else would have done it for me? Fit check. I've got my green leggings, my sort of green shoes, my green shirt, and none of them are like a consistent shade of green. So I'm all over the board today. It's okay. I'm all over the map. You can't find me. Maybe I'm here. Maybe I'm there. I, I don't know. Out on the road, it is a beautiful, ah, running in the ground. It is a beautiful day in February to run. It's like 56, 57. February in Kentucky. So a little update on how I'm feeling. I am like, I'm a little stiff, honestly. Like my knees and my hips, just a little bit like, hmm, which is weird because I just had two days off. But I'm just keeping it slow and the weather is perfect. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm making this up. I am not, I'm telling the honest truth. I went to put my phone away and my pockets were gone. And I'm like, where are my pockets? Like these pants have pockets, where'd they go? And I just realized I put my pants on inside out and left the house like that. My marbles, they're gone, they're gone. I wish I could tell you that's the first time that that's ever happened. It is not. I've run with a shirt on inside out before, a shirt. That's such a one track mind. All I'm thinking is get this long run done. Get this long run done. You have homework. You have a class tonight. I'm not thinking. Make sure you look like you're capable of being out in society. I'm not thinking about that. Is that a marble? I just found one of my marbles. I gotta leave it behind though. Marbles are like a dysfunctional family member. But once, once they're gone, you can't take them back. How do you like this bug on my lip? I always find it easier to stay motivated on gross, like cold, rainy days than I do on glorious, magnificent, sunny days like this one. No, I feel like on the gross days, it's like, eh, I can't really add to the misery. It's already pretty bad. But like on sunny days, I'm like, I just want to be drinking pool water with somebody, you know? Just something to think about. <laughs> I might have just cracked the mystery. It's almost like a survival game that you would play. Like it's fun for the same reason. You would play like, I don't know, like Hunger Games or something. Or like, I don't know, like a s sniper game or something. I don't know. It's like that survival mentality. I'm tough. I can stick it up. But then... On beautiful sunny days, you're like, why am I alone? Run's going really well. It's just so pretty outside. 
outside, like this air is like crack. And I just can keep breathing it forever. And I'm getting some like some like warning signs that I'm about to fall to a communist pretty soon. Right now I'm listening to the Sundays. I've got about half an hour left on my run. It's so pretty. I'm kind of tired though. I'm kind of bored, honestly. I've got about 20 minutes left, which is hardly anything. But it's times like this when I'm on my long runs and I'm allowed to go slow and I'm just tired and done that I just get overwhelmed thinking about 26.2 miles. Cause you know, that's another two and a half hours based off of not even where I'm at right now. So I don't know. I felt great last run. This run, I'm just kind of tired. Just finished up my run. What happened to my hair? What? <laughs> Somehow overnight, it got destroyed. I took a turn. It started off like beautiful and easy. And then the last hour, I just was done with it. I was so bored. Not even bored, but tired. Even though my heart rate was low, which is good. That means that I've improved a little bit, but just tiring and I can't wait to eat. Maybe I was hungry. Maybe it's just, I'm tired. I don't know. Good morning again. It's gym time. We're gonna go to the gym and hop on the bike. I was gonna do some outdoor biking, but it's like 38 degrees and I'm not quite comfortable with that if I can help it. I've ridden it in like probably the coldest. It was like 19 degrees, but I don't feel like doing that today. So I'm just gonna hop on the bike for just a few minutes and we're just gonna do some like really, really, really easy stuff because I don't, I don't go hard after, I don't go hard after my long runs. See you when I'm dead. Just finished my workout. I was on there for like 40 minutes and then after that I did the assisted pull-up machine. Not that you need those muscles for running, Frankly, I just wanted to do it. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and make some chicken. I'm calling these wraps deconstructed because they completely, they completely fell apart. They're supposed to be two little rolls, but they popped open with lettuce and... I'm back. <laughs> we just went through a whole week. Can you believe it? That's how fast this stuff goes. I'm so grateful that you stayed the entire time. Like, honestly, you're a real one for that. Let's just conclude with a few things. So the first thing is, I wanna do this every time, a couple things that I'm grateful for. Let me pull out my gratitude. This is so cliche, but I'm, I have it for a reason. Um, I'm grateful that my back was okay. I actually had one day this week where it was kind of bothering me and um, it didn't like, get worse and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my electric toothbrush. I love that thing. I don't know what I'd do if I had to brush my tooth like <laughs> my, my one tooth. <laughs> I mean my teeth. And then I'm also grateful for caffeine. <laughs> If you haven't already, subscribe to be a part of the Royal Running Realm. It's the most inclusive realm there is right now that I'm aware. Um, you don't even have to run to be a part of the Royal Running Realm. You don't, even to, you don't even have to be royal. Like, that's how inclusive it is. So I think that's going to tie things up for today. Um, thank you. Love you. Proud of you. Okay? I'm so proud. Have a great week. God bless.